Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hold yours off if the desktop.ini application or file is opening up automatically in Notepad or Windows 10 when you start up your computer. So this could be a frustrating issue, and in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve it. So we're going to start by opening up the Start menu, just by left clicking on the Start button one time. Type in File Explorer. Best match, you're going to back with File Explorer. Go ahead and left click on that. Select this PC on the left side. Double click on whatever drive Windows installed on. So usually it'll be a little Windows icon above the hard drive and it should be the local disk. So go ahead and double click on that. Now you want to select the View tab up at the top. And then on the right side, check mark where it says Hidden Items. Now double click on the Program Data folder. Double click on the Microsoft folder here. And now go down to Windows. Double click on that. Now you want to double click on Start Menu. Double click on Programs. And double click on Startup. Should be a desktop file in here. You want to go ahead and right click on that. And then select Delete. Once that's deleted, you can see we back out of that and go back to Programs. You can see the desktop configuration settings are still there. And you can notice it's still present on our computer, which is fine. Now you want to select the View tab again. Uncheck where it says Hidden Items. And now select the View again. Go over to Options on the right side. Left click on it. And then select Change Folder and Search Options. Select the View tab within the Folder Options window here. Scroll down where it says Hide Protected Operating System Files and in parentheses Recommended. If it's currently unselected or it's just an empty box, you want to check mark inside of it. And then select Apply and OK. Close out of here, restart your computer, and that should be about it. So, I do hope this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out. And as always, thank you for watching, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.